There's a little kid in Detroit growing up in the 50s that, that made them stand out to me was first of all, it was an interracial flow of traffic going there. It would be uh, African-Americans and white people going in the same direction. Some with each other, some not with each other, but all going in the same it really place. felt like from the very beginning that this was a community of people, that people that we could rely on each other, that we could look up to each other, that we could inspire each other, that we could play music together, that we could hang out together. They made, they made me aware of the responsibility of being a bass player from Detroit, and that, that was like really inspirational, you know. Uh, and that carries so much weight around the world. When I, when, 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 uh, I say I'm a musician from Detroit, nobody will mess with that. I mean, it's a village to raise a jazz musician, right. and I think Detroit, uh, one of the reasons that we produce so many hip jazz musicians is because we have such hip villagers.